know why I thought it looked really weird in the camera then. It's been raining, that's why I look like this. I had to walk home from college in this. So, welcome back to my channel guys, I hope you're all doing good. Today's video, I'm finally doing a tutorial on how to do the lucid dreaming method. I know that a lot of you guys have been asking for this video, so I'm finally doing it. I've got my notes, handwritten notes by the way guys, I never write handwritten notes. I'm going to be reading off of that, so if you're wondering why I'm not looking down every now and then, it's because I'm reading off of the notes. So yeah, a lot of anti-shifters will just say, shifting is literally just lucid dreaming, so why is there a whole lucid dreaming method if lucid dreaming and shifting are the same? But they're not. You know, if you're part of the shifting community, you know that lucid dreaming and shifting are very different things. But what you can do is use your ability to lucid dream to your advantage in order to successfully shift. This method, like I said, is called the lucid dreaming method. And if you don't know what lucid dreaming is, it's basically when you're kind of aware that you're in a dream and you can basically control what happens. And so this method is so, so easy, especially for the people that find it kind of difficult to imagine themselves in another reality using the lucid dream method will help you so much to you know get yourself to believe like i am going to a different reality like i can do this you know successfully this is also the easiest way to separate yourself from your physical body in this reality just thought i'd add that first thing that you want to do is get into a comfortable position and basically prepare yourself to lucid dream basically do things that you would normally do to kind of like relax before you go to bed. Basically anything that you feel like relaxes you. But once you've done that, do you want to start, you know, getting ready to lucid dream, lying down. There are loads of subliminals on YouTube for lucid dreaming. If you want to use those, then I'll leave a link to one in the description box below. Or you can just search up on YouTube lucid dreaming subliminal. There are so many out there. But you're probably wondering, how do I know when I'm in the lucid dream? Something called reality checks. You can also incorporate doing these reality checks in your daily life so you kind of get used to doing them and so that you know clearly the difference between when you're not dreaming versus when you're in a lucid dream. So, reality checks. Some examples that you can do is count on your fingers, you know, just some regular counting, reading a clock or reading um, stuff like this, you know, like that. Because in lucid dreams, you can't read off of clocks. You can't read off stuff like this. And it's harder to like count on your fingers. Also, another sign if your hand goes through your palm, you can like do that as a reality check. If it goes through, then that's another sign that you're in a lucid dream. There are so many more other signs out there to, you know, show that you're lucid dreaming. But those are just some of the examples that I've heard of the most. But yeah, that's just kind of a way to not only let you know that you're in a lucid dream, but also to help you stabilise yourself once you know that you're in a lucid dream. Because you don't want to freak out. You don't want to think, oh, I immediately have to shift as soon as I'm in this dream. Like, you need to stay calm. You need to keep doing these reality checks in order to stabilise yourself and think, yeah, I'm in a lucid dream. Let's just stay here. Look at the surroundings. See how you feel all that kind of stuff so now that you've stabilized yourself and you 100 percent know that you are in a lucid dream you want to imagine a portal showing up this can literally show up anywhere in this lucid dream and you want to imagine walking through this portal and as you're walking through you want to keep repeating affirmations to yourself because another like kind of tip to know when you're lucid dreaming your subconscious mind is more likely to accept and believe the affirmations that you say so basically as soon as you know that you're 100 percent in a lucid dream you can just start saying affirmations to make your subconscious mind believe that you are in your desired reality it's literally as simple as that but like i said as you're going through this portal you want to keep you know reaffirming to yourself the affirmations that you like to use and just like that you'll be in your dr it's literally that simple guys <laughs> a lot of people tend to think that the lucid dreaming method is very very difficult but it really isn't it's actually one of the more simple methods out there that people that like using methods enjoy using because you know pretty easy not very like you know step 650 like you know you know what i mean like it's it's pretty easy 
So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know that this has been so anticipated. So I really hope that this video has been useful for you guys. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, please make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.